Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here at Peace and Healing Harmony. How are you? I would like to share today with you about expectation and assuming, I will say, especially at this time of year where will be it will be the holidays and gathering with people, family. We uh, tend to expect things. And when we expect things, we are always disappointed because we cannot get what we want. We cannot get a person to do the way we want. So I would say expecting is not a good emotion. We expect people to act, to behave in a certain way. And when they don't, we are disappointed. We create it ourselves actually because we get frustrated we get angry, disappointed. All these negative emotion that, you know, re that come from expectation. Why are we doing this? I will say probably because we like, it's kind of, um, how can I say that? It's kind of, we want to control everything around us. Not a control like a control freak, but we want you know everything to be in place the way we want it. We want people to act the way we want it. And we don't like surprise, actually. I do, but a lot of people don't like surprise because we are programmed to be to do things in certain way to, and to receive certain things. And, you know, everything is really calculated. And how many people like surprise party? How many people like, you know, someone's come knock on your door by surprise? You're like, well, I didn't expect you. And, you know, I'm kind of busy or, you know, but, Life should be a surprise. Life should be always unexpected things, actually. I feel like when I don't expect anything, when I go to an event, I like it because I'm surprised about everything is happening. And I'm like, wow, this is nice, wow. So I live the moment in that event because I'm not looking for what I'm expecting during the whole time. You, I don't know if you understand why, because when you expect something, you expect to happen anytime during that event. But when you don't, you just live each moment and you just smile and you just, wow, this is beautiful. The same thing, you know, someone come knock on my door and I didn't expect the person to come over. I was, yeah, oh, for sure. I was busy. I was doing something. But just to be able to sit down with that person, to, to just talk, to laugh, to, it's just a joy. And I find it really, uh, how can I say, I'm grateful for those moments because it's not something, you know, that it was in your calendar. And you say, okay, I know I have this appointment. I know I have this on that day. It just happened. And those moments are the best, trust me. They are the best. And I would say people are not, we are all different. So 
same thing when you um, it can be at work uh, in your personal life or family you might think that uh, the person your friends your 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 husband your your sister or brother will do something like you want let's say a project to be done so sometimes especially with our close one we like okay we grew up in the same house we you know we have the same background so i expect that person to do that project the same way i will do but no you have even if you grow up in the same house even if uh, you came from the same background. We are still different. So don't do that to yourself. Don't expect anything to avoid, to get hurt, to get frustrated, to get to be angry. Because the only person who are, who are actually responsible of that is only you because you are the one who put that expectation, not the other person. And it's the same thing with assumption. How we like the assumption. I learn in the hard way not to assume anything anymore. Because when you assume that the other person knows what you feel, that you get hurt, that um, in, uh, or you, yeah, exactly. You, you assume that the other person knows how you feel, knows that you get hurt because of, of the behavior that happened. No, they don't. You need to communicate it. You need to say out loud, I'm hurt. You hurt me because you did this and you did that. I learned. Today, I don't assume anything. Even if sometimes I think I know, I just ask the question. I think I know, but I don't. So it is important to ask the question. I know people around me that don't talk to uh, other people. They don't talk to each other because they think that the other person of they assume the other person don't care about them. Or that, oh, my sister don't care about me. So why should I keep trying, make effort to be with her? She was here, yes, we enjoyed the time, but then after that, nothing. But you don't know what the person is going through. Maybe that day when she was with you, it was a moment of relief for her. It was a moment for her to escape her problem. So don't assume that you know. And same thing with, you know, couple. I know few of them that they think the other person knows that she's not, she or he is not happy because his behavior, it keeps and you know, avoiding, not be there, not present. So the person is like, he knows that I'm not happy. He knows that I'm hurt. He knows that when he does that, or when she does that, is annoying me, he hurts. Sorry, but the other person don't know. You need to communicate, you need to tell the person. 
and unfortunately some of them just you know um, get separate because of that assumption that they assume so they get separate because hey he doesn't care that we know we are together or he doesn't care that you know I'm hurting so better go away communicate 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 tell the other person what you feel ask the question it's not only when you when you get hurt but you want to go somewhere and you assume that the other person don't want to go with you because x y z but did you ask the person no you need to ask. So we need to learn to communicate. I know it's, <laughs> it's not easy to communicate, especially when you want to ask something and you're like, oh, oh my God, he's going to say no, or she's going to say no. But it's just an answer we're going to get, no matter what. It's not like it's the end of the world. So we need to learn to, to actually uh, move forward or go up to that fear of asking. And we need to try not to um, expect. I'm telling you, life is more beautiful when you don't expect anything. It's more joy. It's more like, wow, oh, yes, I had a great time. Oh, yes, it was a pleasure to see you. Even if it wasn't expected, I had a great time with you. That's the best moment in your life, I'm telling you. Instead of all the things that is already arranged. You know, you have to do this and on Thursday, 7 o'clock, you're going to the restaurant with your friends at 3, uh, maybe p.m., it's not the same thing. Trust me, it's not the same thing. That's what I wanted to share with you because the holiday is coming. Don't expect anything. Just be there. Just live the moment. Enjoy. And before I leave, I would like to share with you, uh, maybe you experience it. For the past three weeks uh, a lot of people are struggling with emotion and I'm saying this because first when I experienced it I thought I was it, it was just me that I was you know sometimes you go through emotion you don't know uh, maybe you're going to be uh, you know a little bit sick or because the the weather is changing and so on and then I decided actually to, to, you know, to read some of the message on my Telegram group because sometimes I don't have time. Well, I didn't, it's not that I didn't have time. I didn't have the mood to uh, read them. That's when I realized a lot of people are going through the same thing. A lot of emotions are coming out, but you don't know exactly which, you know, what's going on. Because one day you want to cry, the other day you are angry. Uh, it's really the swing mood that, you know, you don't know exactly what's going on. You are tired, you have headache, and you try to ground it, meditate, anything, and it's not working. So I just want to let you know, if you're going through this, don't be hard on yourself. Don't be angry at yourself for feeling the way you feel. And probably we are going through a transformation. That's the reason why all the emotion is coming up the way it is right now. So just take care of yourself. Be gentle, uh, slow down on your activities and uh, it will pass. I believe it will pass. So thank you for being here. Thank you a lot and enjoy your day, your evening. And don't forget, be surprised by life.
be surprised by life. It's so wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Until next time.